Hey everyone, my name is Bridget and welcome to my channel. For today's video, we're going to be going over my personal essentials for herb keeping. Now not everyone is gonna agree with this list and that's okay, but I have been keeping reptiles and amphibians for quite some time now and so these are definitely things that I think are essential. I personally feel like I can't live without them. So I thought that I would make this video and go over some of the things that I think are super essential and hopefully they can help you out as well. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get started. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and let's get into today's video. Everything that I'm gonna talk about today can be found within my reptile room. My first group of items help me when it comes to cleaning in here. So number one, my trash can. Everyone that keeps reptiles and amphibians are going to be throwing away a lot of things, including bowel movements of any type, any uneaten food or just waste products in general. My reptile room is connected to my kitchen and I could just very well easily go and throw these things into my kitchen trash can. Things smell really bad sometimes and I would rather keep my kitchen trash can for my kitchen stuff and my reptile and amphibian trash can for my reptile and amphibian stuff. I also choose to have a really large trash can in here because it gets full pretty quickly so one of those little mini trash cans that I've started with in here just wasn't cutting it so I upgraded. <laughs> Number two consists of a few different things and that includes paper towels, regular towels, and things like baby wipes. Regular towels help me with really saturated wet types of things. The paper towels are pretty self-explanatory because I use them to grab up bowel movements and then I use the baby wipes to wipe it down clean. These are natural unscented baby wipes. These are just what I use for in between kind of spot cleaning types of things. Number three on the list that I use personally is F10 disinfectant but this goes for any disinfectant. I use F10 because it is veterinary grade and it's really strong. It kills a whole host of bad things. So I just trust it a lot. It gives me peace of mind knowing that my enclosures and the enrichment pieces and everything are getting disinfected, not just wiped clean. They are actually getting disinfected. Bacteria and certain parasites and things are naturally found within the bodies of these animals. And so if they get sick or stressed or they eat something wrong, that bacteria and those parasites can grow. If it's coming out in their waste, it's gonna get all over the enclosure, therefore spreading the parasites and the bacteria and everything. So disinfectants help to clean those things up and kill them off. Number four on the list is gloves. I like to use things like these. These are powder free examination grade latex free. They have a textured grip on them. Pretty standard, they look like this. They do have the texture on there as I said. And I'm able to clean things, making sure that I'm safe, but I'm also able to handle my frog and everything if I need to with the safety of the glove on my hand. Number five is hand sanitizer. I definitely make sure to have my hands washed and dried before I come in this room, but then anything that I'm doing in here, especially Especially if I'm handling multiple animals back to back from one another. I like to sanitize my hands in between just to make sure that I'm not spreading anything from animal to animal. This is definitely easier on my hands than washing my hands back to back and it's quicker and easier so I definitely recommend hand sanitizer when doing anything in here. Number six when it comes to cleaning is my vacuum. Now I do have a standard vacuum that I use in here for just like the floor and everything that I use all over my house, but I have a special reptile room dedicated shop vacuum and this helps me out so much. When I'm cleaning enclosures, I grab my big trash can and my dust pan and I scoop out as much of the substrate as I can to get the rest of the bits. I use my shop vac, it's so quick. I can literally just stick the hose in the enclosure and suck out every single bit of whatever is left in the enclosure before I go to clean it out. I just love it. I know that a shop vac is not essential to everyone, but it is essential to me. But regardless, you're gonna need a vacuum anyways. All right, so now we're gonna get into the essentials that I like to have when it comes to the health and wellness of the room. So number one on that are supplements. You've got to have these, especially if you have lizards and geckos. They need these things dusted on their feeder insects and their salads and things just to be able to get all of their minerals and nutrients and everything from this in order to grow and live long, healthy lives with healthy bones and such. Supplements, 100%. 
but I also recommend having little supplement shakers. I have four different supplement shakers that I have all separated from the different types of supplements that I use. I've got plain calcium with no vitamin D3. I've got calcium with vitamin D3. I've got plain multivitamin and I've got a multivitamin with vitamin D3. It really makes for a light coating. It doesn't all fall out. I can't spill anything. Just to me, it gives like the perfect amount of whatever supplement I'm giving that day. And I think that they're pretty cool. And I think that you guys would love them too if you tried them for yourself. Number two for health and wellness is tongs. Tongs are essential for snakes especially, but I also tong feed my leopard geckos. They don't like to eat out of bowls. I don't recommend feeding snakes just with your fingers because the likelihood of you getting bitten is very high. So tongs are a big help with that. And I actually have a different pair of tongs for every single animal in this room. I know that that's excessive, but I don't want to spread anything between animals. And so when I'm feeding one, I don't want to have to either use the same tongs and risk spreading germs or have to clean it in between every animal. So we put in the money to buy a pair of tongs for every animal that we have in this room. And that's just what I like to do. You don't have to do it, but I do recommend that you have at least maybe two or three pairs of tongs if you're not gonna have one per animal. Number three for health and wellness is a scale. Scales to me are super important because you wanna make sure that you are monitoring the weight of your animal. You wanna make sure that they are gaining, but not gaining too much weight. You wanna make sure that they are maintaining their weight or if they are losing weight and it's on like a rapid basis, you kind of need to monitor that really, really carefully to see if they need to go to the vet or anything. I weigh my animals mostly once a month. There are a couple of animals that I have in here that I do weigh either every week or bi-weekly, but for the most part, they get weighed once a month so that I can see how they're doing and if I need to be concerned over anything. So number four for health and wellness are things like thermometers, a temperature gun, and thermostats. These are 100% essential for everyone. Thermometers are great for knowing what the ambient temperature is in the enclosure, the gradient that you may have. So you can have a thermometer on either side of the enclosure to know the difference between the hot side and the cool side. I only keep thermometers on the hot side of the enclosures and I also use thermometers that have a built-in hygrometer, which is what reads the humidity. They allow you to just kind of like glance at your enclosure and you know what the animal is sitting at and I think that's very helpful. But one thing that will help if you don't want thermometers and you choose not to have thermometers, you need to have a temperature gun. And this is so easy. You just point and shoot and you can see the temperature of any surface that was within the enclosure. And the third thing is thermostats. This is 100% essential. If you have animals that just require things like lamps and such, a lot of the times you don't have to have a thermostat because you just change the wattage of the bulb. But if you do have, let's say leopard geckos that are on heat mats or all of your snakes that are on heat mats or anything like deep heat projectors and stuff, you've got to have a thermostat that can regulate the temperature of that product. Certain heat mats can get up to 100 plus degrees Fahrenheit and that is way too hot for any snake that you're gonna keep in captivity. You need to have a thermostat that can set the temperature to whatever they are comfortable with and whatever is required of them. It is also a safety measure because if the heat mat overheats, the thermostat helps that to shut off. Thermometers, temp gun, I say they're necessary, but you may not think they're necessary, but 100% a thermostat is necessary. Number five for health and wellness is water. I personally use spring water for all of my reptiles and my amphibian, and I like to keep it in my water jug that has a spout so that when I'm cleaning water dishes and stuff, it's much easier to fill the bowl than pouring it in there and risking spilling it or anything. But if you are gonna use things like tap water, you need to make sure you're using something like this. This is called Reptisafe, and it is a dechlorinator. It's a water conditioner for whatever water that you're using because a lot of things in tap water, especially chlorine, are harmful to reptiles and amphibians. So this removes all of that and helps the water to stay as safe as possible for your animals. I do have this on hand because when I'm giving my bearded dragon or my Euromastix a soak, I will dechlorinate the water. You gotta have water for these animals because they need to have things to drink and you need to make sure that water is safe for them. And it's not essential for everyone, but I personally think having some sort of water reservoir jug type of thing is really helpful. 
The last one for health and wellness consists of a mister bottle for misting certain enclosures and spray bottles. I have this large sprayer bottle that is pressurized and I use this for misting the enclosures down. Anybody who needs extra humidity, I will use the pressurized spray bottle to really mist down the enclosure. And then anyone who might need a light misting, like in between my frogs misting, sometimes she just needs a little bit of extra humidity in there. I will just use my little spray bottle and I will spray down her enclosure. All right, so my last items are just added help within the room. So number one is my step stool. If I need to get something off the top of one of my rack systems and I can't quite reach it, the step stool helps me to be able to stand up there and get something down should I need it. Number two for added help is a fire extinguisher. Several people have reptile rooms with all of these heating elements in there, but they don't have a fire extinguisher in the room. They probably have a fire extinguisher somewhere in their house. I have one in my kitchen as well, but I believe in having one in the room as well because you just never know what's gonna happen in here. Bulbs malfunction, leaves, decorations, things like that can catch on fire. It's highly unlikely, so don't let that scare you. But if it were to happen, I would much rather have something right on hand that I could grab immediately to help put that fire out should something like that happen. Number three is timers. Now these help just to be able to turn the lights on and off if you have animals that are diurnal, for instance, or maybe you have just animals that have like a light or a lamp or something on and you don't have to think about it. I just come in here in the morning, everything's already turned on. I come in here at night, everything's already turned off. I just think timers are fantastic. Number four for added help are things like tubs. And I use these for a couple of different reasons. I have tubs that I use for traveling purposes if an animal needs to go to the vet or something. And I also use tubs for quarantine purposes. So when you do get a new animal in, especially things like reptiles and amphibians, it's just nice to quarantine them for a bit of time just to be able to monitor their skin, their sheds, their eating, their poops, all that kind of stuff. Number five for added help is not essential for everyone, but it's essential for me and it is a space heater. Now I live in Texas, so it is fairly warm a lot of the time, but in the winter, like we have really, really hot summers and we have really, really cold winters. These animals, even though they do have the heat source, the ambient temperature gets really really cold. So I always like to keep the room at least 75 degrees Fahrenheit in here. But in the winter, it does get rather cold in the house, you know, maybe around 70 or something. I don't like it to be that cold for them. So I definitely use the space here in the winter time to keep the ambient temperature comfortable. Number six for added help is storage. And this means having storage cabinets, storage shelves, anything like that, that allows you to put some stuff away in an organized manner that you can get out later. If I had this room and didn't have anywhere to store things, I would literally lose my mind because not only am I a Virgo and highly organized, I just don't like clutter. I like things to have a place. Having storage just helps me out a lot to have peace of mind and it helps a lot when I'm not like digging for things or I'm not stepping over things. Let's say I'm getting ready to clean the room. I don't wanna have to move things out of the way. To clean, I'd rather them have their place, if that makes sense. So storage is essential to me. <laughs> Number seven for added help are things like a bulletin board, a schedule, and then like notebooks for keeping track of everyone. I have all three. <laughs> I have my bulletin board over on the side of my room. It just allows me to put my schedule up there because I like to have a routine. Any reminders that I need, I can just tack to the bulletin board. And then I do also have notebooks. I did an entire video on this, so I'll link it right up here where I have separate notebooks for each type of animal that I keep and how I keep track of them, things that I write down for them. And that just helps me out a lot. And then the last essential item for added help is a fridge. Just having a refrigerator in general, you know, in your kitchen or whatever is perfectly sufficient. But I personally have a mini fridge in this room that houses everything for me animal related. I've got all of my feeder rodents, my feeder insects, liquid calcium, my snail food, my fish food, vegetables for the bugs, vegetables for the animals, like everything is in this room and that helps me out a lot and I absolutely love it. I don't think that it was absolutely necessary, but now that I have it, I realize, wow, this is actually 
it's actually pretty great and I can keep snacks and drinks in here if I want if I don't feel like going out into my kitchen or anything I got some food in my fridge if I need it and I just think that that's really helpful well alright guys that is my list of essential items that I believe are essential for my hurt keeping I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I hope that it was helpful for you and that you got some ideas on certain things to keep in your reptile room as well if you did enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button on your way out I really appreciate it also hit the notification bell so you can know when I upload next and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!